Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Friday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, so daily chart, we've rolled into the September contract today, uh, ESU 8. Um, so pivots and all that stuff have been updated to September contract. Uh, we continue to be on a band ride here on the, uh, this is the continuation chart. If you take a quick peek, At the September chart, you can see we're also in a band ride, so there's no there's no differentiation there. Um, we've retraced a little bit in the overnight, back down into the 50s as low as 55.75. If the bears want to begin the process of ending the band ride, they can't end it today. We've already engaged the upper band; it can't end today. It's going to carry into Sunday, Monday. What they need to do is avoid um, the dip buy. And all we've seen lately, right, is the dip buy. Nice ramp higher. Um, basically taking stubborn shorts out and ripping their faces off to the tune of 10 and 20 handles at a time. Um, they may, you know, it, it makes people fight the rally. They get a little bit, then they, you know, it just goes bad for them again and they fight it and fight it and fight it and that's why price continues to go higher. Uh, what we see here is you see the current high at 79.75. They put that up yesterday before the open. Um, we did a marginal lower high, 79 half, 79 quarter, went down and did matching lows at 60 and then a pronounced lower high to a lower low. Now, if the bears want to put together a day, they need to establish mid-band resistance on the hourly chart and break the 55.75 low. If they can do that, it can begin to retrace to the downside, at least down towards, call it Wednesday's low, okay? Um, back down that 47, 46 area, um, that's a possibility. If this is going to go the way of the other rallies, or the, the other dips rather, then we'll have a test of the mid-band. At some point during the course of the day, they'll lose daily pivot, and we'll end up finishing the day uh, right back up, right around where we finished off um, yesterday's close, if not worse. The trouble with the bears is that the dip buyers now are beginning to become emboldened, okay? And now that the roll has kind of worked out of its system and whether or not this latest dip down to a lower low is a byproduct of the roll or not, I, I you know, I, that, that remains to be seen. What is interesting is the possibility of daily pivot going resistance. Daily Pivot, it was tested yesterday. It was really nice support here. They took it down. They, they just fell into the double bottom trap. But you can see for the rest of the, you know, support, support. Um, if they can turn it into resistance, that's something that I think shorts can lean into and your dip buyer begins to say to themselves, well, we'll see you Sunday, Monday. You guys do what you want. We've made our money this week. Have some fun. And that's how you end up with a down summer Friday. Okay, don't underestimate the fact that this thing could go nowhere today on any summer Friday that has got to be part of your plan or at least your range of possibilities. It's always on the table. So watch the, watch the hourly mid band, watch the daily pivot, um, watch the Globex low, see if those areas want to be support or resistance and that will give you the larger reveal on what the day really wants to be. All right, everybody have a good one. Have a great weekend. I'll be out uh, uh, Sunday night with numbers. Monday morning we'll do uh, another webcast and we, we will be out later on social. Take care everybody, train them well, and I'll talk to you then. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.